The process for dividing one fraction by another is very similar to the process for multiplying two fractions. The difference is that when dividing, there's an extra step. Let's take a few examples. Two-fifths divided by three-fourths. Now, if you were multiplying these two, you would just take the product of the two numerators and the product of the two denominators. But when you're dividing, what you have to do is take the reciprocal of the second fraction. So the reciprocal of 3 fourths is 4 thirds. And then you can change this division sign to a multiplication sign. Now we can just complete this like a multiplication problem. 2 times 4 is 8, divided by 5 times 3, which is 15. So that's our solution. Let's take another example. 8 over 15 divided by 4 over 5. Once again, we can rewrite the first fraction and then take the reciprocal of the second fraction, 5 over 4, and change this to a multiplication sign. Now, what we can do before we start multiplying is we can cancel. We can divide 8 and 4 by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 5 and 15 can be divided by 5. 5 over 5 is 1. 15 over 5 is 3. So what we're left with now is 2 over 3 times 1 over 1, or just 2 over 3. So that's the solution to that problem. This last problem here, 7 over 25 divided by 21 over 55 can be done the same way. We'll rewrite this as 7 over 25 times 55 over 21. And we can cancel here too. We can divide 7 and 21 by 7. This reduces to a 1. This reduces to a 3. These two numbers are both divisible by 5, so we can divide 55 by 5 to get 11, and 25 by 5 to get 5. Then we'll rewrite this as 1 over 5 times 11 over 3, and then we can just multiply. We get 11 over 5 times 3 is 15.